Well, I guess it's time to listen to the new Blink-182 song. My girlfriend was actually my dad. I... Wow, that song was terrible. Time to write about it on this very informative internet discussion board. <clears throat> and send. Huh? What's this? Music? Can't be. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You can't just say music is subjective as your argument. That's like saying music is immune to criticism, isn't it? I mean, technically they are right. Music is subjective to every listener, and every listener hears everything differently, so they shape their taste based on how they experience the music for themselves. So if this is the case, why do people get so heated over musical debates? What if I told you that music discussion was simply a way to say I'm better than you? Allow me to articulate. Take a band like Greta Van Fleet. One person might say, well, their entire sound and look is derived from a sound from the 70s made popular by bands like Led Zeppelin that were so popular that every band started to sound like them and the next thing you know, it was boring and out of style. Now these kids come in with the same style as if they're doing something fresh. Real rock is dead energy from these guys. So let's say another person comes around and he says, well, I know it's not technically the most cutting edge music, but I really like this sound, and I'm always happy to hear more of it, so I really like Greta Van Halen. Usually this kind of response is not met with retaliation due to its modest nature. And I mean, there's no way you can be wrong about saying you personally enjoy something. This stance could also just be seen as, I know it's technically not the best music, but I enjoy it and that's what matters. Which is again, is very respectable, and unless you're an absolute douche nozzle, you're not gonna come after this kind of opinion. So now you have these two opinions, and the first one seems to most people likely that it's the more educated and formulated opinion, so more people might gravitate towards that one. Does that mean they're right? No, not necessarily. Because once again, music is technically subjective, but some people might see this as the more respectable opinion because it comes from a place of experience. And this is where things start to get heated. Let's say another person comes in with an opposing viewpoint, but this one seems equally as educated as the first, saying something like, their sound may be derivative, but styles disappear and come back, and music was long in need for a sound this familiar yet genuine again. Now, a lot of the time when two educated opinions contrast so heavily against each other, it turns into an angry skirmish to see who can prove the other wrong with their musical knowledge. <laughs> this will ultimately not lead anywhere as, once again, music is subjective and you're going to enjoy what you're going to enjoy and most likely nobody's going to change your mind on that. But that won't stop people from believing they're smarter than the other person so they're just going to argue it into oblivion. By the gods, the internet trolls are at it again. Another thing that seems to piss people off about music opinions is that if somebody has a little more attention or likes on their opinion, people start to hate them a little bit more because they see it as the definite opinion because the most people agree with them. Or at least that's what they assume. So people feel the need to angrily respond as if their opinion is the truth and they want people to know that. This is why people like Anthony Fantano get a lot of unnecessary hate comments. They're just one person on the internet with an opinion, but once their opinion gets too big, everyone gets mad at them because they have to prove themselves and that their opinion is the correct one. I am guilty of all of these. I've done all of these before. Takes one to know one. And I probably will continue to argue about music in the future on the internet. No, I know I will continue to argue about music on the internet. But at least it's important to understand why we do this. 
And it is important to understand that you are not so special when it comes to music opinions on the internet. So yes, music is subjective. And yes, some music opinions are a little more educated than others, but yes, other educated opinions can also contrast with those. But just because music is subjective does not make it immune to criticism. If someone has an opinion on a song, no matter how stupid it might seem, they have the right to feel that way because God damn it, music is subjective. Every opinion is subjective, but we're still allowed to have them. It's the glory of opinions that allow us to set us apart from each other, to provide light in certain areas where others may have a hard time navigating. Yet, it is only when a man is able to form his own opinion on a matter that that man is truly visionary. For following the ideas of others is enlightening to some, but should be used to help guide yourself along your own path instead of following the paths of others. Because following too much in the paths of others can lead opinions into becoming established laws and truths. And those that oppose these opinions will become heretics and iconoclasts, disruptors of the determined cogged machine, a reality created by no god, but rather the cognitive hive mind of human consciousness. The the only existence will ever know! So don't listen to this video! Don't listen to a word I say! It is obligatory that you take these words and use them to mend your own realities and shape a world that is true to you and only you! Because you are the one who is paramount!